ओम शांति इन अव्यक्त मुरली ऑफ थर्टी वन ट्वेल्व टू जीरो वन सेवन अव्यक्त बाप दादा हैज टोल्ड अस टू सेलिब्रेट टू जीरो वन एट एज द ईयर ऑफ कम्पटिशन द एलिवेटेड ईयर एंड द ईयर फॉर अवेकनिंग द वर्ल्ड इन दैट कंटेक्सट ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट्स हैव इमर्ज आउट ऑफ जर्निंग फॉर बिकमिंग ट्वेंटी फोर कैरेट कम्प्लीट विच आई एम शेयरिंग विथ यू point 1 effort must be essentially made to rectify amrit vela the nectar time this time should never be missed out and simultaneously attention must also be given to make it powerful and loveful godly version says children you only rectify your amrit vela then i will rectify everything of yours point 2 do maximum contemplation and churning over babas sakar and avyakt murlis listening to murlis at centers provide special power along with extra support of the environment point 3 evening yoga must be done either alone or in gathering to give such light current to souls of the world and nature point 4 at night do at least 15 to 30 minute yoga before sleep if possible lead full sakar or avyakt murlis or essence followed by giving char to baba and then go for sleep after emerging elevated thoughts this will help you in getting relieved from the burden of sinful karmas and your next day will begin with elevated thoughts Point five: Do keep connection with the center. Spare some time for doing yoga in Baba's room. This will charge the battery of soul, thus maintaining an elevated stage at workplace. Point six: Both Baba and Maya are multitasker, and both are almighty authority. One must not forget this. and keep awareness against maya every moment point 7 be alert against your target and responsibilities effort and study has to continue till end one must pay attention against entry of even minor laziness and carelessness hence it's always necessary to remain in zeal and enthusiasm point 8 keep more interest for essence in comparison to expansion sour point shiv baba point and drama point all expansions are merged in it point 9 highlight your virtues through actions rather than words point 10 attention must be paid to make mind bodies and wealth all three worth while in service if you are unable to do any of this you and take constant blessings to all by becoming merciful this is an easy and powerful service which takes little time and lesser effort but yield greater results point 11 attention has to be given on all four subjects but as for present time focus must be on imbibing divine virtues because we have paid enough attention over other subjects and now the time has come to reveal self and father through our activity and face this will actually reveal the study and the teacher all virtues to be imbibed are included in purification of conduct thought words and diet point 12 until we are able to make unlimited vision and atmic vision till then understand that destination is at far of distance point 13 one must now attain the stage of being ignorant of knowledge of desires 
in the relation to vices and physical attraction this is possible only if it stops coming even in our thoughts and dreams point 14 do not become double faced personalities that is very internal and external behavior otherwise you will get stuck in the mistrain god like those who are truthful and clean hearted point 15 do elevate karmas or actions instantly and repeatedly think before doing bad karmas if possible keep bab dada in front and contemplate you will get invisible health point 16 in life maintaining balance in everything is important this is the highest spiritual endeavor and clarity of intellect is the highest guide because balance brings stability in life clarity moves us towards right direction and finally makes egoless and humble point 17 the virtue of love and contentment is very essential since love for everyone is the foundation of a happy world and contentment is the foundation of all attainments the one who has this two qualities is loved by everyone and remains satisfied with him thereby accumulating his account of blessings and charity point 18 solitary mourn or silence and thought turning these three practices will support you in attaining body the stage point 19 so darshan chakra that is spin of self realization or panch swarup five forms and traffic control practice must be done intermittently this will make mind powerful followed by development of divine qualities do not lose your valuable time at looking others narrating tales or waste talks the valuable period of sangam or confluence age is available only once keeping this in mind make your time worthwhile otherwise you will have to repent at the end point 20 arrogance has the capability to wipe your earnings in a moment and make you degrade from the position if there is a quality of gratefulness humility and feeling of trustee then there will be no place for ego there is no denial for making race but do not compete point 21 increase your chart of remembrance up to 4 to 8 hours for this you need not have to sit at one position but remembrance must continue whilst doing work because during the last moment this practice will help you in making unshakable immovable stage and final moment service do include dehi abhimani that is soul conscious stage angelic stage and seed form stage in your yoga practice point 22 one who does self checking and changes himself can only really change his sanskars point 23 do this practice of remembrance intermittently that high i have to go home and return back to new world meaning awareness of land of liberation and land of depression in life this will help in becoming detached and with unlimited disinterest point 24 finally man mana bhav put your mind into me the supreme entity none other than one father one power one faith this is an elevated tapasya penance those who bring this into practical and become ever ready through long time practice considering every moment as the last moment will pass the final paper of second appearing instantly and acquire front number om shanti